What up everybody, this is Tony Tella, and I'm here to tell you about a video that I saw online the other, actually tonight, I was going to say the other day, because it was actually like 12 o'clock when I saw it, but uh, it's this dude, Hip Hop Gamer, and he's talking about this new game, Starhawk, that's coming out for the PS3. Now, there's a couple things that I have, there's a couple, couple beefs I have with this whole video, one of them being that he's talking up a game that's not even out yet, he's comparing it to a game that's... You can't really, well, I mean, you can't compare the two, but before the game comes out, you can't compare it to another game. Pretty much what he's doing is he's comparing it to StarCraft. So he's taking an RTS FPS, comparing it to an RTS, and saying that it looks better, it's nicer, it's more innovative, it's, you know, it's a better game all the way around, when he hasn't even played it yet. Um, another thing I have is he's saying that this whole idea of Star Starhawk is a new and innovative idea that hasn't been done on PCs yet that's done on consoles because consoles are more innovative than PC when really this whole thing the whole concept of the game from the way it sounds from what he's talking has already been done on PC twice maybe even more because I really half-assed the whole research when I did this thing because I figured hell I don't need that much of an argument to fight against this dude because his video itself is kinda shallow so uh... let me just... I'm just gonna give you one example and that's really all I think you deserve it's called Let's see, Iron Grip Warlords. And basically what it is, it's like an RTS tower defense first person shooter, where basically you set up your units like an RTS, and then when the battle starts, you get thrown into it with a gun as a first person shooter to help out all the AI that's trying to do their job. So I mean, really, it's the idea of Starhawk isn't original like you said it was. It's not as innovative as you think it is, and it's not as new as you think it is. It's already been done on PC. For the record, also, because you did compare PC to console, we're going to kind of go in on that whole argument now. Let's switch gears and say that, you know, you were talking about how PCs are only good because you can upgrade the hardware. Consoles are good because they're innovative and new, and they have new software and new stuff, and they're always doing new things. And really, they're not. They're just taking what the PC's already done, recycling it, and putting it on a more accessible medium for the public. Because, I mean, the one thing that's good about consoles is the controller. The average Joe can pick it up and say, oh, alright, X does this, square does this, triangle does this, circle does this, oh, that's cool. You know, on the PC, it's a little different, you have to use the keyboard, which most people are used to it for typing and not really playing a game. So, I mean, that's really the only upper hand that, con that, that PCs have, or consoles have. Your whole argument is completely invalid. If you look at the history of gaming, it started on a PC. A Commodore 64 was basically a PC kind of just evolve from there. The only thing that's different is controllers. I mean, yeah, you know, you, you can't, you can upgrade the hardware on a PC, da da da, and yeah, you know, consoles, they have their exclusive, they have their God of War, they have their Uncharted, they have their Halos, they have their Gears of War, but really that's it. And as time goes on, you're going to start to see that people are going to start bridging the gap between console and PC. I mean, look at DC Online. That was supposed to be a cross-platform thing where you can play on the PC with your friends that are playing on the PS3. Look at Portal 2. You can play with your PS3 friends on your PC. Really, dude? Your whole, the whole basis of your argument is completely fucking shallow and glass like this shooter. If I were to take it and throw it, break it, that's what your argument is. I mean... Your video just kind of, kind of hit me right here, and I was just like, can't let this dude do this. I mean, everything he's saying is just so wrong. And I mean, honestly, you're 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 an ad-ridden gaming website, which means that you're legit, and you're talking shit about one of the most legendary games in gaming history. You're talking about StarCraft. You're talking about a game that came out in like 1994, or 1995, the original one that people were still playing up until the release of StarCraft 2 and there's still a huge fan base for the original StarCraft that still play it alright just think there's over like what the fuck was the number like five six seven million people eight million people that were playing StarCraft that were waiting for StarCraft 2 you're really gonna insult all those people by saying that Starhawk is a better game a better looking game a better playing game and a more innovative game seriously dude you're just committing social suicide is what you're doing. I mean, I'm not here to just talk shit. I actually would like to have an intelligent debate with you at some point. Maybe, you know, you could post some YouTube videos. Because I'm not really going to respond to anything on your website. I'm not going to lie. I probably won't go there again. 
But uh, I'm going to hit you up on Twitter. You'll see this video popping up. Uh, I mean, for real. I mean, that whole shit you did, just that's a disgrace to people like me that do editorials and commentations on the video game world. I mean, you can't just like you can't just talk about a game before it comes out. Like it's the shit when you haven't even played it yet. Uh, that's really all I had to say, man. So everyone out there, I'm putting it out there publicly. Tony told Hip Hop Gamer to pump his brakes, do some research before he posts a video. And right now, personally, look at me. Tony told you I'm ready for whatever you're about to bring. Just let me know. I will definitely, definitely have a debate with you about this. If you want to. I mean, if you're not too scared. Because I'm sick right now, and I'm just killing you right now. Imagine when I'm not. Imagine when I'm good. Oh, my God. Like I said, we took your shot glass shooter argument and just smashed that shit. So, I mean, so uh, hit me up with a response, whatever. Even if you don't, it doesn't really matter to me. Tony still told you. Feel me? This has been Tony Tellum with another one.